We should go back and talk about Tanya and the festival stage mm. because it's obviously important in your yeah. life, it's important in my life. Yeah. What are the bones that, why does that stage work so, as well as it does? I think the, you have the Greeks and then you, then you have Tanya and Tony stage. Um, I think because um, it's, it's the most beautiful piece of architecture to present people on. Um, it's a mystery. I've seen it abused and I've seen it sort of, miracles happen on it. Um, I think the best way is to illustrate fact. Yes? Illustrate mm -hmm. fact. In 1962, a Cyrano, Chris Plummer, Cyrano, um, there are several things that happened on that to show you why the brilliance, to me, brilliant, of director and designer. And Tanya and I designed it side by side. Well, together. It, it, was, it was a late opener then. And um, She did costumes, you did sets? No. No, no sets. No sets. Uh -uh. Zero. S zero. Zero <laughs> add-ons. <laughs> but because it's a fairly big show, they said that Tanya and I should do it side by side. Together, not side by side. Well, literally side by side. And so Tanya, um, the com I was terrified. Here's the lady I adored, my best friend. But to think I'm going to share a show with her was rivers of perspiration down the house. And she said, oh, darling, let's go and have a drink. Let's go and talk about it. And he said, um, Chris, uh, you do new, I'll do my old. And you've done nuns, haven't you? Well, you do nuns, and I'll do pickpocket. <laughs> and you do Roxanne. No, I'll do Roxanne in the blood. So it was divided up like that over a glass of strong waters. And um, um, Tammy, no, sorry, name's gone. Tammy Grimes? No, no. no. Roxanne? Robbins, Robbins, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. Was the first Roxanne. Uh, anyway, um, Chris, Roxanne. Um, their stage, Langham directing. So the the audience come in, there's nothing on stage, but there are three little metal columns, little metal bands around each column. Mm -hmm. Yeah? House lights down, up, empty stage, and suddenly here, crash, bang, 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 from the VOM, in comes the audience for the play. From under the tunnel come the actors with candles, pop, pop, pop. Mon Fleury, the play happens. Um, there's up on the balcony, there are... We're talking about the play within the play, play yeah, of Cyril. Right. Up on the balcony, there is um, a pickpocket with a fishing rod picking a wig up, things like that. Uh, all into play stars, Mon Fleury comes on, stop the play from the back of the theatre is Chris. The first time it had been done. And it was a lightning bolt of an effect. Stop the play, that voice. On to stay, oh play, all the kerfuffle. Cyrano off to the, uh, uh, to the Pont de Nai, and the actors, over their sparkly clothes, put on little cloaks, take the candles from the column, go to the stage left arm, make a circle around Chris, and you hear a big bolt being drawn back, yeah? And there's a shadow of Chris, 40 foot high on the wall, and he says, there lies Paris, dreaming, crash, the, the, um, the, the, the um, uh, trap open, clouds of smoke, and the smell of baking goods coming through the air conditioner. And from nowhere came tables and chairs of bread. Suddenly you, you were in a bakery. Um, the end of that scene, intermission. The, 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 the jasmine wound around the center column, that's all there was, for Roxanne and Christian. The last act from the, from the battle um, the stage was full of a, a, a couple of cannons, broken ammunition boxes, a couple of ladders. It was junk everywhere. And wonderful beers. That, that's uh, too much to tell you about all in one. But when the battle started, everybody who could be a, a Spaniard or a Gascoigne was. And, and they, Frank Holt built these wonderful muskets that fired into the bomb, you know? So there was smoke into the bomb, smoke into the bomb. And this battle noise, battle noise, battle noise, panners up, cl people climb up like balcony. And through this came little holy voices, women's voices, little holy things came through bit by bit. It got louder as it got darker, got louder as it got darker. To account, it was dark to a count of maybe two or three, quieter. 
And as the lights came up, the stage was empty, completely empty, except the whole area. The whole area was covered in dead leaves. And from the roof came little paper leaves doing this to that. One nun sweeping. Millie Hall from the left from Is this Michael Langan's yeah. imagination or yeah. is this your yeah. imagination yeah. of Tanya's? Yes. And the tapestry brought to the stage right from the nuns kept on sewing, more leaves falling. It was like a bend and the smoke from the guns had all leveled out, so you had autumn mist. Now that was done to allow Chris to change costume, makeup, and for Roxanne to get into her mourning. It was so clean and tight. But and what you are describing is something from nothing. Yes. 